Katia V5, let's take a look at how we can use planar sections with 3D scans to better align various elements. So this will be a case study. This is a shampoo bottle cap. You can find it on the Artec 3D scan database. I will also leave the link in the video description. So we see the file formats available. I will select the STL. We're going to see that it has already been downloaded. We're going to have the following archive over here. So I will unzip this and we're going to have that shampoo bottle. And I will copy paste that STL file. Now I will jump within Digital Shape Editor and I will insert the existing STL over here, which will be this one. I will scale this using a scale factor of one. Since this is directly from a 3D scanner from Artec, if I'm gonna check the dimensional measurements, we're gonna see the dimensions over here using the information tool in Katia V5. So we know that this is at the true scale. Now let's take a look at how we can do some um, some some uh, sections within the 3D scan. Let's say, for example, that I will bring a plane. So starting from the reference plane over here, I will type over here plane. And if I will go from the side, we're going to see that the scan is not that um, well aligned with the, with the reference. So we see the origin of this. We can also better align this. So let's do that. I will jump, for example, over here within the top viewport, or we can do something even better. We can go into an assembly and align it directly over there. So let's do that. I will create a new product. This will be the product. And I will add the existing 3D scan, which is this part over here. And let's take a look. Within this part, I want to use the feature recognition in order to define a plane over here. So I'll go to Start, Shape, Quick Surface Reconstruction. I will search for the basic surface recognition. I will select this. For the method, I will pick Plane. And afterwards, I will activate the Point Cloud and I will use the brush method over here or i can use the pick it will be in this case similar with the brush if i will hold down the left click it will select and i will probe various points on that surface and at the end i will click ok and this will give me that plane so i will click apply and we're gonna see how katia defined the plane over there i can also extend this in order to better visualize that plane. Keep in mind that since this is a plane, this will only have, let's say, a visual effect because it's not mandatory that we make the plane uh, larger. I will now click OK. And let's see, I will insert a new part within the product. I don't want to define a new origin. And over here, I will activate Let's see the X and Y plane. I will also center and reframe on because I want to visualize it over here. So you're going to see that the second part will have the reference over here, which is a default one from Katia. And I want to jump over here, for example, within generative shade design. And I will create a rectangle that I will use to center that 3D scan. So I will just do a rectangle selection. I will now fill this using the fill surface definition. I will jump back within the assembly design. Over here, we see that the last time I was at the product level, I was within Digitab, a digital mockup optimizer. So I'll just swap this back to assembly design. And over here, I will define the second part to be the fixed part. And I will use the coincidence constraint in order to make 
the top plane coincident with the bottom one. If I will click update, we're going to see how that will now be positioned over here. Okay, so we have that center now, and let's see regarding sectioning of 3D scan elements, because that was the main uh, objective of this, uh, of this video. So I will jump back within the first part, which is part one. For now, I can hide part two, because I only made that um, in order to center this. And over here, I will jump within um, quick surface reconstruction, but we can do it directly within Digital Shape Editor because we have the planar section over here. And starting from this, I will uh, draw a new plane. So I did all of those setup because the 3D scan from Artec wasn't really, uh, let's say, aligned. And I want to position this at 10 uh, millimeters over here. I will click OK. And now for the shampoo bottle cap, I want to create a planner section. So the element will be the 3D scan. Afterwards, I will select the plane and we're going to see how Katia will automatically give us those, those two planner sections. So if I will just click apply we have some possibilities over here to have them grouped in one entity or by element if i will click apply like this with them grouped in one entity i will click ok i will expand the part body we're gonna see that the planner section will look like this so over here we cannot use those directly so if you have followed some of my previous videos regarding this if i want to jump for example and do a fill I will not be able to select that. Let's just take a quick look at that. So just like we did uh, previously, I will use the fill, but we see that that planner section is not a viable selection over here. This is because we need to convert that. So I will jump back to Digital Shape Editor and we're gonna have the possibility to use the curve from scan over here in order to convert that planner section. So I'll select those. We're going to see that we have the creation method both smoothing and interpolation. And we can define the, let's see, the maximum number of segments. If this number will be higher, that newly defined curve will be more precise according to a 3D scan. For example, if I will make this 100, I will click apply. I will click OK. We're going to see that the planar section, which included those two curves, has now been used in order to define those curves. So we're going to have curve one, which will be the inner profile of the shampoo bottle cap, and curve two will be the outer. And now we have this curve over here, and if I will type in over here fill, which is the same feature that we use for the rectangle, we're going to see that now this will be a viable selection over here. But uh, since I already had that selected, I cannot select again. So I can just click on preview and we're going to see how Katia will create that. Therefore, afterwards, we can start working with this, uh, this curve. So keep in mind that if you're going to do some planar sectioning, if you are working with uh, reverse engineering Katia V5, it is mandatory that you're going to convert those using the curve from scan in order to obtain those viable elements that can be used for further processing within surface design. So I hope you enjoy this kind of content. Consider to give this video a like, also comment if you have any questions regarding this workflow. I will position a similar video on the left side and a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.